The 2018 wildfire season was the deadliest and most destructive ever recorded in California, according to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Across the West, fires are starting sooner in the year, lasting longer, and getting bigger. And if they seem to be trending more apocalyptic, they are. Fires start with three things, fuel, oxygen, and heat. When temperatures are high, precipitation and humidity low, and winds are swirling, it's prime time for fires. Add in a spark, be it natural like lightning or man-made like a downed power line, a discarded cigarette, or a campfire, then bam, you've got yourself a fire. And with high winds, a low Santa Ana's, and lots of fuel, the fire can become a rager. Fires have been increasing in numbers and intensity out west for three big reasons. First, the western U.S. has been getting warmer and drier due to climate change, making it prime territory for fires to start and spread. Since 1970, temperatures in forested parts of the west have gone up about 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and they're expected to keep rising. Snow melts and spring thaws are happening earlier in the year, too. The result? Forests and vegetation are getting drier. Because of warmer weather and the resulting aridity out west, from 1984 to 2015, fires spread an additional 16,000 square miles than they otherwise would have. That's the size of Massachusetts and Connecticut combined. Second, suburbanization into wildland areas has increased the risk of man-made fires and put more homes directly in the line of fire. Third, long-standing fire suppression policies lasting up into the 1970s have made a lot of land out west very flammable. Fires clear out overgrowth and dead foliage and foster the growth of trees that are more capable of resisting fires. While the government has since shifted away from those suppression policies, decades of accumulated dead branches and brush have become fuel for more catastrophic fires. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.